Good day, my name is Evelyn Nixon and my group and I will be discussing the impact of radioactive waste on the environment, the health effects of mercury and water purification by reverse osmosis. My group members include Ndobe, Zangwa, Patlele, Ntetwa, Nchali, myself, Vigo and Mutwa. I will be discussing the introduction. Waste water contaminated with both mercury and radioactive waste has resulted in vital environmental and health challenges in South Africa. Radioactive waste finds its way into water bodies from nuclear power plants and medical facilities, while mercury finds its way to water bodies from industries, mining activities, and dental offices. These two pollutants are toxic to humans, plants, and animals, especially when found in water. Their long-term exposure can lead to serious health issues and irreversible environmental damage. Fortunately, modern water purification technologies such as reverse osmosis offer promising solutions. This method is capable of removing or reducing the concentrations of these harmful pollutants in water, making it safer for consumption and environmental use. I'll be taking through the radioactive waste part. Radioactive waste is a material that is contaminated with the radionuclides at activity concentration greater than the clearance level established by the regulatory body, beyond which no further legal purpose is foreseen. It results as the byproduct of the nuclear energy utilization from processing of some naturally occurring radioactive material within oil, gas production and the gas beneficiations. I will be presenting the impact of radioactive waste. Radioactive waste can react with soil components and result in soil being toxic and infertile. <clears throat> radioactive waste impacts the plant growth and contamination of crops. <clears throat> Leaching of groundwater and surface water, contaminating drinking water and disrupting aquatic life. Radioactive substances can be ingested by animals and destroying the food chain. Human can have skin burns, radiation sickness like cancer and cardiovascular disease. Mercury is a chemical element in group 12 and the only metal that is a liquid at room temperature. Mercury is highly toxic, especially as a vapor and an organic compound. Mercury is found naturally on the Earth's crust, mainly as a compound called cinnabar, which is mercury sulfide. There are two sources of mercury, natural sources such as volcanic eruptions and weathering of rocks, or human activity such as mining and coal combustion. In South Africa, the maximum allowable concentration of Mercury in drinking water is 6 ppm as specified by the South African National Standards as well as it aligns with the World Health Organization guidelines for mercury in drinking water. If you are concerned about the levels of mercury in your drinking water, a home testing kit can be used to assess the quality of the water. Also, a water filtration system can reduce various contaminants such as heavy metals. Although the use of mercury has declined in many industries due to its health and environmental concerns, it is still used in some industries. It is used in thermometers, barometers and manometers to measure atmospheric pressure or gas pressure or temperature. It is used in dental amalgams in very small amounts in tooth fillings. It is used in fluorescent lamps because mercury helps to produce UV light. It is used in gold mining to extract gold from an ore, especially in small-scale mining. In the past, it was used in batteries. It was also used in scientific instruments, such as lab equipment, switches, and electrodes. Mercury is a toxic heavy metal that can have serious health effects, especially when the exposure is high or prolonged. This heavy metal is associated with the following numerous health effects that are caused by exposure to this heavy metal. Loss of peripheral vision. Mercury can damage the optic nerve and parts of the brain responsible for visual processing. This often results from long-term exposure and high levels of mercury. Lack of coordination, which is medically known as atesia. Mercury interferes with the cerebrum and motor control pathways, causing problems with balance and coordination. Mercury particularly affects fine motor skills and gait. Impairment of speech, hearing, and walking. 
Mercury affects both the central and peripheral nervous system, leading to slurred speech, difficulty hearing, and abnormal walking patterns. Muscle weakness. Chronic exposure can lead to muscle atrophy and weakness, especially in the arms and legs. This is due to the nerve damage, which is medically known as neuropathy. Insomnia. Mercury disrupts neurotransmitter function and may affect melatonin production, of which melatonin is the hormone that is responsible for sleep and thus contributing to sleep disturbances and insomnia. In addition to the health effects already mentioned, there are more health effects contributed by exposure to mercury, such as tremors, memory problems, kidney damage, especially with exposure to inorganic mercury, development delays in children, which occurs through prenatal or early childhood exposure. Mercury exposure can occur through contaminated fish, industrial processes, or broken thermometers, and including some traditional remedies. Reverse osmosis is a type of filtration that uses semi-permeable thin membrane with small pores for pure water to pass through while rejecting larger molecules and other contaminants. It consists of the utilization of filtration systems which removes dissolved ions from water. It is used to produce highly purified water for drinking water systems, industrial boilers, food and beverage processing. It is also used in cosmetic and pharmaceutical production and seawater desalination. This is how reverse osmosis operates. Water passes through a sediment filter removing sediments, and water passes through a carbon filter, removing odor and improving the taste of water. Water passes through a semi-permeable membrane, removing the impurities that were in water. Filtered water arrives in the storage tank. It is then pushed through the post-carbon filter before arriving at the fastened. Removed contaminants are flushed away after. This is the working principle of reverse osmosis in a water plant. Feed tank is filled with tap water. Feed pump transfer water from feed tank to send filter. All particles are pushed from tap water. Process occurs that water goes in and opening is in the bottom of the tank. The water traveling upward direction moves to the send and goes to the carbon filter. In this way, all particles are separated from tap water. In the carbon filter, odor and color from the water is removed. The process is seen as the water is coming from the opening below. Water moves through the carbon and goes to the water softener. Water softener tank separates the salt and makes the water soft so that it can be used for washing purposes and for other drinking purposes. Water then moves to PPC filter to be purified. After PPC filter, water goes to the pressure switch. Pressure switch of the water rests to a certain level so that it can travel to the membrane. Switch gives signal to the control panel and it starts the reverse osmosis pump. The reverse osmosis pump moves water for membrane filter with high pressure and removes all dissolved substrate from it. Mineral water comes from the bottom and raw water is collected from the top. Mineral water is, is stored in the storage tank. Roles of reverse osmosis in water purification. High removal efficiency at removing various contaminants such as dissolved solid uh, heavy metals and pathogens. Removal of bacteria and viruses. Purification of different water sources. It is very effective in treating British ground surface water for both large and small flow application. Osmosis include pharmaceutical boiler, feed water, metal fishing, food and beverage. 
today we've explored two critical threats to our environment and health which are radioactive waste and mercury contamination alongside a powerful solution which is reverse osmosis radioactive waste which stems from nuclear energy medical practices and industrial activities poisons the soil water and ecosystems endangering human health through cancer cardiovascular diseases and food chain disruption similarly Mercury, which is released from mining, coal combustion, and industry, infiltrates water systems, accumulating in fish, and causing devastating neurological and physical effects in humans from vision loss to muscle weakness. Reverse osmosis offers a robust remedy for this by forcing water through a semi permeable membrane. Reverse osmosis removes up to 95 to 97% of mercury and effectively filters radionuclides like uranium and radium. Recent advancements such as hybrid systems combining reverse osmosis with activated carbon or ion exchange are pushing removal efficiencies even higher, addressing the residuals to 3 to 5 percent of contaminants. Importantly, South Africa, which is a region that is grappling with industrial and mining pollution, can greatly benefit from scaling reverse osmosis technology. For instance, pilot projects in Johannesburg's wastewater plants have shown promising reductions in heavy metals aligning with global standards. However, technology alone isn't enough. Let us champion solutions like reverse osmosis while advocating for a realistic approach to protect our water, health, and planet. Together, we can turn the tide. Thank you.